It's the start of another beautiful day here in Johannesburg. I'm Bailey Schneider and you're listening to 82.7 FM Morning Drive. Now, later on in the show, we're going to be talking to the creme de la creme of the automotive retailing industry because tonight is very special. Tonight, it's the Sewell's Group 2015 NADA Businessman of the Year Awards. So don't go away. From Lambos to Landys, Beamers to Buckies, we all love our cars. And today, we take a look at the enthusiastic people who put us behind the wheel of our pride and joy. The automotive dealers, and I'm really excited because we're going to be chatting to some of them later on. Now, tonight sees the 20th Sewell's Group NADA Businessman of the Year Awards, which recognizes the top performing dealerships in South Africa. These are the dealers who have exceeded the benchmark and delivered outstanding results across new and used car sales, workshops and financial services. It's all about ensuring you lead, you innovate, you deliver and you measure. And today I'm excited because in studio we have Gary McCraw, the head of the National Automobile Dealers Association. Morning Gary, good to have you here with us on 82.7 FM. Good morning Bailey and thank you very much for the invitation, really appreciate it. So Gary, what is the role of the awards? Bailey, the main purpose of the awards is to recognize franchise motor dealers that excel in terms of running their businesses. And what were the challenges facing the dealers in 2015? I think the main challenges in 2015 was the reduction in vehicle sales, particularly new vehicle sales, which made it incumbent upon dealers to ensure that they got maximum absorption and throughput through their workshops, parts departments, used vehicle departments to ensure their sustainability for the year. What can we expect in 2016? Dealers are going to find it quite tough in that environment and added to that, the upcoming wage negotiations will add another element that the dealers will have to deal with in 2016. So it's an association with Sewell's Group. So how do you arrive at the finalists? The finalists on a monthly basis submit their financials to Sewell's who analyze those figures. They then produce composites. They then, through a process, highlight a short list of the top performers in terms of return on investment. And it's a totally independent view of who the best uh, person or dealership is in those various categories that are selected. Gary, thank you very much for your time and good luck for tonight. Thank you very much, Bailey. Mustang Sally. The awards really honour the top performing dealerships, but with over 1,500 NADA members, you need to be able to credibly measure their performance. Warren Olson, CEO of the Sewell's Group in Sub-Saharan Africa, is here in the studio with me to tell us how they achieve this. Welcome, Warren. Thank you, Bailey, and thanks for having me here today. So, how many awards are made? Four awards, Bailey. We've uh, categorized them in terms of large, medium, and small size dealers. And we have performance groups. So, four awards that we're going to be handing out to the winners tonight. How strict is the process? Very, very strict, Bailey. Not only does John Templeton, our head of business performance and our COO and his team get involved at the end of January and they pull all the numbers for all 1200 plus dealers that we have. They scrutinize those numbers strictly based on the criteria and they make sure that uh, the winners are the winners. And of course, once they've done that criteria, we bring in our own auditors and they, of course, make sure that everything's in line with um, the, the compliance issues to ensure that everything is above board. Why is it important to measure performance? Oh, that's uh, such an interesting question. Um, firstly, our business is built around um, performance. It's ensuring that they are maximizing their opportunities, maximizing their sales, after sales, and maximizing their financial performance on a monthly quarterly and yearly perspective. It's extremely important for us to be able to um, honor and be able to um, ensure that uh, we celebrate uh, those people that are working day in, day out, ensuring that uh, performance is achieved. Why do the performance groups have their own category? 
Oh, they're extremely, extremely special people. That's why, Bailey, these guys, and we have over 250 of our top dealers around the country, dealer principals, who sit in on these performance groups on a quarterly basis. And they're constantly striving for excellence. And they're looking for the smallest of solutions to tackle their biggest problems. And those solutions come from their colleagues, come from their peers, and come from these performance group sessions. It really strikes me that you are striving for more and more and getting better and better. What are you doing to make sure that this is more than just an awards evening? Well, for 20 years, Bailey, it's been about the awards evening. And we, we take nothing away from the awards evening. And, and for that reason, um, we're going to be making sure that the awards evening sparkles even more so. It's about making sure that we walk the yearly road with our dealers. We're going to uh, publish the results on a monthly, quarterly perspective. We're going to be sending out communication to them, encouraging them to succeed. And we're going to be having quarterly roadshows as well, where we'll get together with the top performing dealers in the country and engage in deep discussions in terms of how we can drive performance and how we can assist them to drive performance within their business. Brilliant, Warren. Thanks so much for coming in and all the best for tonight. Thank you, Bailey, and thank you to all your listeners for having me here today. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. What a pleasure to have our two guests in studio today. But Nado wouldn't be where it is today without the outstanding performance of the dealers all over the country. Who are these outstanding achievers who elevated the performance bar to a new height? Let's have a look at the individual categories. Small dealership category. We, we put a, a lot of focus on overhead absorption and to grow the, our business or our GP at the higher rate than our expense. We managed to do this by growing our after-sales departments by about 20%. The members of my team was very positive. We put the targets out there and they really went out to achieve the targets. We're not office managers, you know, we, the whole management team, uh, we basically never sit in our offices. We're always in between with interacting with customers and making friends. And we found that if you sell a vehicle or a service to a friend, your returns is ultimately higher. We sell service and uh, not uh, a vehicle. I'm big on teaching people their self-worth. It doesn't matter if it's one of my managers or if it's my cleaning lady. If there's a problem that they see in the place, and my door is always open. When I hire my salespeople, I say, if I don't even see you until payday, it's fine, as long as the results are there. I think the most important thing is probably talent recruits, always continuously recruiting talent. And the other would be a culture of urgency, customer service. I think culture, culture in the business is paramount. Belonging to a team, customer centric, have a common goal, common vision, common drive to achieve uh, to achieve excellence. I see. Well, I think our success in our business is um, you have to have the right people and mindset, and you must drive your people and manage them correctly. I think difficult times, but um, if you set your focus to that, um, any business can survive, can thrive, and go forward. Medium dealership category. Uh, my team really put a lot of effort into planning. And we executed our plans. The focus was very, very strong. In the plot land, we, we really had to keep our words together. We got a big drought coming up, but uh, thanks to my team, they really did an excellent job. There's a lot of differentiators that make a business overachieve. For me, the one pillar of strength that stands out is the human capital investment over the last couple of years. With a gradual market downturn the last 15 months, our staff has stepped up to the plate and it has shown in our numbers. Passion for the business has always been a driving force behind everything I do. We set our challenges and our targets um, out very clearly on a monthly basis, and uh, they just go up there and produce the numbers in a tough time. And yet we've come out positive, you know, on our, on our bottom line. And like I said, it's tremendous staff who, who just dig deep when the game gets tougher. I think it's always a team effort. I mean, obviously, it's not only myself. I'm a guy that's just receiving the award. But then as a day, it's the people around you that do the work. A lot of credit needs to go to them. And then again, you have to keep the people happy as well. I mean, you can't have people not earning money. And obviously, the magazine is all about earnings. We've got a way, we call it cases, where we call your C for your customer focus, A for attitude. S was for the skill and the abilities, and H is about habit. 
So we use that for every person to walk through the doors. It's all about based on that cash. Large dealership category. It basically comes down to the resilience of people that you employ in a, the tough economic environment, whether they are prepared to, to take up the challenge and don't, don't get negative. I think it, it comes down to putting, putting down steep targets and then uh, managing your employees' activities to make sure that they get to the target set out. It all boils down to hard work, team spirit, and uh, just making sure everybody knows what's expected of them. And, uh, and the most important thing is the car industry is a, it's a hard business at this point in time. And uh, you know, the strong will survive, and it all just boils down to making sure that you've got the right members on your team. It starts off with people. It's all about the employee retention strategy. Uh, and I think that creates the culture we want to perform and they want to wow customers. I'd say the secret is definitely your people and, and you know, everybody needs to understand that there's a common goal and everybody should work to together to, to achieve that goal. Competing in the motor business is a team sport. Your success is determined by the efficiency of management and staff engagement with your customers. 2015 has been a tough year. Therefore, watching expenses closely and maintaining a disciplined work environment has been crucial for us. I think that and having a top-notch management team who have been committed to making business happen, having the right people doing the right stuff, um, I think equals the right results. Most Improved Performance Group Member PGs have helped us uh, best practice, climatising to, to markets changes and uh, and a group thinking dynamic. It's just helpful to understand the differences um, you know, in, in different markets. They're from all over the country. Uh, we just set our targets higher and diligence in, in, in all their processing to make it feel like they're part of our family. And, and that's how we try to run up business as, as a family unit so the customers feel um, engaged and welcome when they, they arrive at Nikor and, and they interact with myself and my staff. I think any performance group, you're measuring yourself against realism. And I think when you measure yourself against realism, you, you know, you try and climb to the top. So I think at each session, um, I learned something, you know, that, that we could put into practice in the dealership. And then by putting that into practice, you know, climbed the ladder and surprisingly found ourselves in the category that we nominated for been doing it for a very long time. We started with Paddy O'Brien 20 years plus back, so they're quite disciplined in using the tools and benchmarks in all the different aspects of their businesses. So when we walk out of the room, we've got one action plan for each of the departments and one overall one for the dealership. Obviously, we're aware of the big challenges we have in terms of the world economy. So I think my job now is just basically to motivate these cars every minute of the day. And, um, and make sure that, that they capitalise that every, every day they must, they, must, you know, they must move forward. It's so interesting to see the edge these leaders are bringing to the automotive industry all over the country. Tonight, the National Automotive Dealers Association will be recognizing the phenomenal achievements of each of these finalists and announcing the winner in each category. The 2015 Sewell's Group NADA Businessman of the Year Awards is brought to you by our incredible sponsors and it really wouldn't be possible without them. So a big thank you to Bright House Automotive, Dealer Management Solutions, Decra, no mobility without safety, Gumtree, auto integration tools for dealers, TransUnion, vehicle price index, the Sewell's Group, the MRA performance model, Westbank, deal with confidence, and Wilkin Communication, communication with results. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sewell's Group NADA Businessman of the Year Awards 2015.